Today I'm going to be making a quiche or savoury flan. The choice of ingredients to put in your savoury flan is entirely up to you. Today I'm going to be using onions, cheese, tomatoes, mushrooms, garlic and bacon. You'll also need a pastry flan case which you can buy pre-prepared from the shops or you can make your own as I have done earlier. First of all, sauté the onions, but only very, very gently. You want them to become clear like this, not brown like fried onions. Don't let the onions brown like fried onions. Keep them golden and clear. Spread the sautéed onions across the bottom of your flan case or cases. Next, sauté the bacon. I've chopped mine up fairly finely, but again, that's entirely up to you. And of course, if you wanted a vegetarian alternative, just leave the bacon out. Next, spread the bacon across the flan case. And preferably not across the cooker as well. Use any kind of bacon that you want, either smoked or plain or a mixture of both. Or even use cooked ham for quickness and you wouldn't have to sauté it. I've retained the juices that the bacon was cooked in to cook the mushrooms in. And I'm also going to add a clove of garlic. Again, just sauté the mushrooms for a few minutes and then spread out in the flan case across the other ingredients. You may notice I haven't mentioned any quantities and you may also notice that there's four flans on the go. Because it's quite a sort of involved process with different stages, I tend to make more than one. So there's one to eat and a couple to freeze and a little tiny one for my neighbour. Spread sliced raw tomatoes across the mixture. And next, sprinkle liberally with grated cheese. You can use any sort of cheese. I'm using cheddar today and of course you could use more exotic cheeses to change the flavour of the dish that you're making. Next we need a mixture of eggs and milk. I tend to use two eggs to about half a pint of milk that will set in the tart. It will find its own level so don't worry about where it goes as you pour it in. And the final touch is a sprinkle of parsley or other herbs if you prefer for a stronger taste. and some salt and pepper to taste. So in they go into a gas mark 4 oven about 180 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes or so until completely set and slightly golden brown on the top. So that's 20 minutes gone now and the first one should be cooked to perfection. We'll be eating that tonight with some salad and new potatoes, but you could eat it just on its own as a lunch dish or with hot vegetables as well. <laughs> Goodbye, thanks for watching. I hope you'll have a go at making it. It is a lot of little processes, but it isn't difficult to make and it really is a tasty dish. <laughs>